Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a square and its whole square root divided by a is equal to 4 and we solve this problem for all the values of a. So here we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards our first method. And in the first method here we need to move this a from left hand side to the right hand side so it is divided by here when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes a square and its whole square root is equal to 4 times of a and now here we need to remove this square root sign from left hand side uh, so in order to remove this square root sign we need to take a squaring on both of the sides so when you take squaring it will be written as in this form and further here in the next step you see that uh, this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here this is a square equals to here in the right hand side we need to apply the square separately on both of these two values and it will becomes 4 square multiplied by a square and now here we move this a square from left hand side to the right hand side and it will become this is 4 square becomes 16 a square and when we move this a square to the right hand side it will becomes minus a square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we will get 16 a square minus a square becomes here 15 a square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here because our target is to find the values of a so that's why we need to divide both of the sides by 15 in order to remove this 15 from left hand side so that we divide by 15 on both of the sides and after dividing by this we will get here the remaining values are this 15 is cancelled out by this 15 and we get here a square equals to here we know about that when we divide 0 with any other number it is always get 0 so you get here a square is equals to 0 and now here for the values of a we need to take square root on both of the sides and when we apply square root these two and square root are gone and we easily get the value of a is equals to 0 so this is the first value of a which we get here in this method and further in the next step we need to verify that is this value of a is satisfied our given question statement or is this value of a be the extraneous root uh, so here we need to verify this for this we copy down given question statement here the given question statement is a square and its whole square root divided by a is equals to 4 this is the our given question statement and now here we substitute the above value of a into the left hand side and we check that is both of the sides are equal or not and you see here this is 0 square square root divided by 0 is equals to 4 or not this is the our claim and we have 0 square and its square root this 2 and square root are gone and you get here 0 over 0 equals to 4 so here you know about that the left hand side be the 0 by 0 form and usually we will call that it is the indeterminate form or in other words we say that 0 over 0 form be the undefined form so if this is undefined form it means that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal it means that the value of a is equals to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so here we conclude about that a equals to 0 be the extraneous root of of the given equation okay so this is the extraneous root and further here in the next step uh, we again solve uh, here we conclude about the solution set of this problem uh, we cannot get any value of a which is satisfied our given question statement so it means that this question has no solution because we cannot get any possible value of a so we conclude that this is not solution this equation has no solution uh, in the first method and now here uh, we again solve this problem for second method
I hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now here in second method first we need to copy down given question statement here it is a square square root divided by a is equals to 4. So here um, this is the our uh, very quick method and here we just directly get the values of a and now you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here uh, in the left hand side we get a divided by a is equals to this is our 4 and now you see here this a is cancelled out by this a and we easily get the left hand side is 1 equals to 4. So here you see that 1 is equals to 4 is not possible case. It is not possible that 1 is equals to 4 because in general 1 is not equals to 4. So if 1 is not equals to 4 this means that we cannot get any value of a which is satisfied our given question statement. So that we finally can clear about the solution set of this question is that this question has no solution in general okay. This is the, our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.